soren kierkegaard from the superman in modern literature by leo berg eighteen sixty two to nineteen hundred and eight translated by claude field this is just a short excerpt from that work soren abbe kierkegaard eighteen thirteen to eighteen fifty five has a deeply religious and at the same time a very modest character his struggle against the danish church sprang perhaps from a sense of injured religious modesty he has a sudden vision of the individual christian in his nakedness and disconnection he teaches so to speak the individualism of christianity and of the christian self-intoxicated with dreams and strengthened by imaginations torpid as an observer he says he wishes in his own sphere to be a seducer and make every one believe that the individual has immense significance and alone lends validity to life in a style which is sarcastic and pathetic enthusiastic and reflective at the same time he calls to his contemporaries quote, but you who are alive and children of the time do you not see that existence trembles do you not hear the march music do you not perceive the moment rushing onward which the hour hand cannot follow whence come these terrible pangs if the time is not pregnant End quote he sarcastically remarks that these pangs have not yet produced any birth but the religious individuality must sooner or later come to light one cannot be religious in the company of the comfortable and the shallow but far away from all men where one has no helper and only one betrayer oneself that is the proper place to be and to be joyful there is a great thing for the religious man is always joyful the promise is attached to subjectivity and through it alone can one become partaker of eternal blessedness the curse of our time is that men have become impersonal in their religious feelings as in everything else Quote, everything has become so fatally relative that one feels stifled End quote. 